Friday morning, my friends. We are back, and I am Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this fantastic Friday. The weekend is here, and I want to encourage you to be here Sunday morning, 8.45 for Bible study, 10 o'clock for worship. we got a great day of worship plan. got a baptism that will bless your heart on Sunday morning, so make sure you are here. It's going to be a great day. But right now, turn with me to 1 Timothy chapter 4 as we continue through this this journey. Keep in mind, Paul is talking about what's coming in the latter days, reminding Timothy so that he could remind the church that uh, that things are happening. Uh, and, and even in their church at that time, things were happening because they were in the latter days. Now, keep in mind, the latter days is everything from the time Jesus ascended until now. But we are truly I believe in the latter days because everything is falling into place and the only thing that remains on God's prophetic timetable, uh, the next thing is the rapture of the church. I believe that with all of my heart. And Paul's been talking about this problem with false teachers coming in and deceiving the church. So so callous to the truth, they don't even care. All they care about is their own uh, fulfillment, pleasure, uh, getting things, uh, deceiving people, and that really is their plan. That is their hope. That is their desire because that's what Satan does. And these people are empowered by Satan, directed by Satan, and they're trying to destroy the church so much so that they've come in and they've added these extra rules. You can't get married. You can't eat certain foods. There are things that you can do, things that you can't do. Listen, the gospel of Jesus Christ says the only way to salvation is by the grace of God through faith in Jesus Christ. Trusting in the fact that Jesus died on the cross to pay the price, the penalty for your sins, and his shed blood covers us. And once we've accepted the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, our sins are forgiven and our eternal destiny is secure. It is absolutely guaranteed. There is no gospel plus. It is just the gospel of Jesus Christ, the only thing. And, and listen, but here's what Paul goes on to say. He says, the reason that, that this is wrong is for every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. What's he talking about? The food. And that's always an issue in the early church because the Jews restricted the diet of the people. They forced them not to eat certain things. And even as those new believers coming to Christ, they were struggling with that, that concept. Uh, you remember Peter struggled with that when God sent down the sheet filled with all sorts of unclean things and told him to eat. And Peter said, no, I'm not going to do that. And God says, don't call unclean that which I've created. Everything I've created is clean. And that's what Paul is reminding Timothy here today. Uh, and, and understand this was even a problem later on uh, because Paul had to call out Peter in uh, the years down the road in Galatians because Peter fell prey to, to the Judaizers coming in. And, and here's the issue. It is not a matter of what we eat. What goes into a man doesn't defile him. It's what comes out of his heart that defiles, what those words that we say, those actions that we do. And the only way to change that is through the grace of God. And so Paul reminds Timothy, listen, everything, everything that God has created is good. All the way back to Genesis, we see that. God in his creation said it is good. The problem is that uh, these false teachings, these false gospels had come in. And there are all kinds of those false gospels. There's prosperity gospel. There's the name it, claim it gospel. There's the, the fact that you're an American means you're a Christian gospel. Uh, all of those things come into play. And there are so many who are deceived by that. The truth is there's only one gospel and there's only one way to heaven and nothing else can get you there and nothing can keep you out of there once you've trusted in Jesus. Because look at what he says. It is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. All that you eat, all that you drink, sanctified by the word of God and prayer. And when we allow those things that are good and holy to come into our hearts and minds through those teachings, when we allow those things to be celebrated with thanksgiving for what God has done, God blesses that and he changes that. I want you to understand this morning, God is good. He's got a plan and his plan is for our uh, good and his glory. So think about that today. I want you to Focus this weekend 
on ways that you can celebrate his goodness, how you can share that goodness with others, and especially those who have been deceived by these false doctrines. Have a great day. See you on Sunday.